the book of Sirach, chapter 10, verse 10. The physician cutteth off a long disease, and he that is today a king, tomorrow shall die. All right, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechach Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father in the Holy Tongue. Yahweh Shai is the true name of the High Priest and Savior of Israel. And Rechach is the Holy Spirit, which is the Comforter. Double honest the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for leading by example in these last days. And Shalom to the hopeful elect. Are you Aki and making your bodies a living sacrifice? Now, through the Spirit, the name of this lesson is the physician. And I just want to go into the difference between the physician spoken of in Sirach the Temp chapter and what this world considers a physician or a doctor. All right, first off, the word doctor means to, to make something seem good by editing it. If you doctor a picture, you're photoshopping it, you're changing it, you're, you're making it appear like something it's actually not. When you doctor a document, you're editing things, man. You're, you're making something that's not true seem like it's something else. And, you know, in this world, the word doctor and physician are basically interchangeable. But in the scriptures, a physician is someone who heals you, who cures you. Matter of fact, let me start with the definition here. It says physician, noun, a person who cures moral or spiritual ills, a healer. So there's a spiritual healing that's going on right now due to this word going out. As it tells you in Wisdom of Solomon, matter of fact, let me get that real quick. This is the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 16, verse 12. It says, for it was neither herb nor mollifying plaster that restored them to health, but thy word, but thy word, O Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, which healeth all things. And that all things starts with the nation of Israel, the elect, the remnant, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that hear this word and repent and put off your old ways. That's a healing. And that healing comes from Yahweh Shai, who these heathen call Jesus. He's the physician. He's the real, he's the officer that's ministering the health of the nation of Israel. And it says here in Sirach 10 and 10, the physician cutteth off a long disease. What's that long disease? Matter of fact, let's go up a few verses. This is, uh, I'll just start at the top, the book of Sirach chapter 10, verse 1. It says, a wise judge will instruct his people and the government of a prudent man is well ordered. And we know that government in Isaiah the ninth chapter, around the sixth verse, it speaks of Yahweh Shai putting the government of the nation of Israel on his shoulders and he's going to lead and, and rule in righteousness. That's that's the physician in Sirach 10. But this says, verse 2, As the judge of the people is himself, so are his officers. And what manner of man the ruler of the city is, such are all they that dwell therein. Now, what kind of man was Yahweh Shai? He was austere. He was extremely moral. He, he was humble. He was meek. Every work he did, he gave glory and credit to the Heavenly Father. And so in the kingdom of heaven, you're going to have 144,000 men that are like the ruler. Let me read that again. It says, as the judge of the people is himself, so are his officers. And what manner of man the ruler of the city is, such are all they that dwell therein. And right now we have a, a physician of no value who is the ruler of this city, who's the ruler of Babylon the Great. This man sets up so-called pharmacies all over the world. And when you go into the scriptures, pharmakia is sorcery. Okay, pharmacy is the Greek word for sorcery, witchcraft. This man is a doctor. He makes things appear to be whole, to make things appear to be healthy, but it's nothing but perversion. And this goes into everything from physical, you know, physical health to psychological health, spiritual health. He has doctrines and philosophies that he pushes to the people. Like, look, we're we're here to help you. This is democracy. We're gonna we're gonna help the little guy. Look, this is feminism. We're gonna help women. Look, this is this religion. This is this ideology. We're here to help people. But meanwhile, everything he pushes is contrary to nature, is contrary to common sense, and most importantly, is contrary to the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. So if you have a man who's the ruler of a city and he's completely perverse, he's wicked, he's a doctor, he's not actually someone that wants to heal, he's someone that wants to nigger rig things and tape things together and make it seem healthy, to make it seem right. What what manner of pertinent matter of fact, let me read it one more time. It says, As the judge of the people is himself, so are his officers, and what manner of man the ruler of the city is such are all they that dwell therein. So when you look at the medical industry, when you look at the legal system, you have a bunch of lawyers that are all con men. They're all liars. They're all wicked. You have, you know, the financial institution, which is completely built upon debt. 
usury, again, lying to people, inflation, stealing money from people in a way that's so sophisticated, the average person doesn't even realize they're being robbed in broad daylight. So the man that's ruling is a is a liar. He's a doctor. So Yahweh Shai is that physician. Let's let's keep reading. It says, an unwise king destroyeth his people, but through the prudence of them which are in authority, the city shall be inhabited. And, you know, this reminds me of what is it, Proverbs 29, where it speaks about, you know, the righteous, when they're in authority, the people rejoice, but when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. Right now, we have an unwise king, and he's destroying his people. We have a doctor, you know, Dr. Frankenstein, doctor, you know, th this man is a, a mad scientist. That's who's in control of the earth right now, a doctor. It says, the power of the earth is in the hand of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, and in due time, in due time, he will set over it one that is profitable. And that time is right now, man. We're in the very last stages of Babylon the Great. We're at the end of an empire. We're at the end of a dynasty. We're at the end of this man's kingdom. We're at the end of the time of the Gentiles. That time that Yahweh Shai spoke of is fulfilled right now. And the scripture says, in due time, the Most High will set over it one that is profitable. And that's why it tells you in verse 10, the physician cut it off a long disease. That long disease is Esau Edom, the self-proclaimed white man, this devil that has took it upon himself to go around the earth telling everyone that he's righteous, he has the way, he's he's the Most High, basically. he's He sits in the seat of the Most High and he has all of these heathen, including two-thirds of our own people, looking to him for solutions to problems that he caused. But Yahweh Shai is the actual solution to the nation of Israel, again, starting with the word going out. And it tells you, matter of fact, let me get this in, uh, in Peter. This is 1 Peter chapter 2, and I'm going to start at verse 21. For even hereunto were ye called, because Amashiach also suffered for us, leaving us an example that ye should follow his steps. Right, the first thing Yahweh Shai did was he left us an example of how to be a man, how to be a brother, how to be a servant of Yahweh, how to be a, a perfect Israelite. Yahweh Shai left us the template. He's the prototype for a man of the Lord. He's a prototype for a priest. He's a prototype for a king. You know, look how he he didn't uh, rule over the disciples with, with rigor and, you know, just boasting in himself with his chest out being a nigger. He was an actual living embodiment of humility and meekness. He was the the first example, again, of a prototype. The word proto means before. He's he's the first, the, really the first spirit ever created, but even going deeper than that, he's the first person to master perfection on earth, walking in total righteousness his entire life. No one's ever done that before. So it says, leaving us an example that you should follow his steps, who did no sin, neither was guile found in his mouth, who, when he was reviled, reviled not again. When he suffered, he threatened not, but committed himself, but committed himself to him that judgeth righteously, right? Yahweh Shai committed himself to the Father. There's none good but the Father, and that's the only that's the only entity that Yahweh Shai committed himself to. He didn't commit himself to money. He didn't commit himself to this world. He didn't commit himself to his own family, his biological family. Man, he was fully committed to the ministry. And again, that was an example that we should walk after. But this is the point right here, verse 24. It says, "Who his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree." that we, being dead to sins, should live unto righteousness, by whose stripes ye were healed. Right, we were healed by Yahweh Shai's stripes. Going back to Isaiah, the 53rd chapter, it tells you that he was, matter of fact, let me just get it real quick. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 53. I'm going to start at verse 3. It says, he is despised and rejected of men. And this is talking about Yahweh Shai. This is one of the many, many prophecies in the Law and the Prophets, which these so-called scholars call the Old Testament. It's really the Law and the Prophets. Yahweh Shai is prophesied all throughout the book. It says, He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And we hid, as it were, our faces from him. He was despised and we esteemed him not. And the scripture tells you a prophet is not without honor except in his own house. So, you know, really, every prophet is going to be despised, especially when you stand boldly and stiffly for the word of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai and the name Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. People are going to hate you. But guess what? That word going out again heals the remnant, it heals the elect of the nation of Israel. But this, this prophecy is specifically talking about Yahweh Shai personally. It says, Surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows, yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of the Most High, and afflicted. 
but he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, we are healed. And we're healed through Yahweh Shai's stripes, man. That's very important to keep in mind. This is not a doctor. Yahweh Shai's doctrine and his, his prophecies and ultimately his sacrifice and resurrection, that's not something that was just done to make it seem like Israel's going to be okay. It's not something that was done to put on a show. It's not something that's just, you know, a, a facade. Something that's just like, look, I've, I've doctored this. I've doctored this image. I've doctored this document. This is, no, no, no. This is actually the healing of the nation of Israel. And when Yahweh comes back, we're actually going to be physically changed. We're going to be perfect. We're going to be whole. And that's what, that's what an actual physician does. He heals you. He makes you whole. He makes you perfect and complete. He doesn't let you walk out of the office and then has you addicted to a bunch of drugs with side effects that you have to take other drugs to manage the side effects. That's not a that's not a physician at all. That is a demon. That's a devil. That's a sorcerer. That's a really Esau's Nino Brown, man. Esau is a just a, a pitch black, just demonic entity that when it's time for him to go on trial, he blames everybody else. It wasn't me. It was the light skinned nigga. You know, if you if you've seen that movie New Jack City, Wesley Snipes was playing Esau. Now, as black as Wesley Snipes is, he was he's actually playing the, the pure soul of an Edomite, a doctor, someone that, that hooks his people on all sorts of drugs. And then when he gets caught, he points the finger at everybody else. You know, that's that's the spirit of Esau, I mean, a complete degenerate. And, you know, Yahweh in contrast to that, he's a physician. He's a healer. He heals the, the maimed, the sick. You know, it tells you in, matter of fact, let me get this real quick. One of my favorites. This is the gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 2, verse 17. When Yahweh Shai heard it, he said unto them, They that are whole have no need of the physician, but they that are sick. I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Right, and this scripture is a cold cut to all of these people that, that walk around like they're holier than now. The so-called Baptists, the so-called holy rollers, you know, the, the old nigger woman with the giant five-gallon hats that scream about Jesus and talk about they were saved. Well, wait a minute. If you're saved, why do you need a savior? Yahweh is coming back for those that need salvation. He's not coming back for people that say they were saved back in 1996. All of our people that don't want to honor the physician, they're going to be cut off with that long disease because really our, our people are so sick that they've grown, they've grown to love their illness. They've grown to love Babylon the Great. They've grown to love these pagan religions. They've grown to love feminism and democracy. They've grown to love being a nigger. They love nigger culture. They love black culture. And it tells you in John that they can't come into the light because, matter of fact, let me just, let me just get it real quick. This is the gospel according to St. John chapter three, verse 19. And this is the condemnation, right? When you read Romans, the eighth chapter, it tells you there's no condemnation to them that are within Yahweh Shai. There's no condemnation to you if you've been healed by the physician, but everyone else it says, and this is the condemnation that light is coming to the world and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil, right? Our people love darkness rather than light. If you, if you have someone that's sick and they actually like the sympathy that they receive from being sick, or they like, you know, the, the benefits that they receive from having an illness and you propose to them here, here's a cure. Here's something that's going to cure you. Here's something that's going to completely do away with your illness. Someone that's grown accustomed to being sick. They're going to fight you. They're going to, it's going to be like a child trying to feed a child medicine. You can't do it. It's, you got to use all sorts of tactics and <laughs> trick them basically into healing themselves. But when you look at sin, sin is what makes our people sick. Idolatry, adultery, these, especially idolatry, just going after these other gods and worshiping other deities, it makes our people sick in the head and they actually like their sickness. They actually like evil. So they don't want to be reproved. It says, for everyone that doeth evil, hateth the light, neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. And that's the, that's the healing. That's the medicine for our souls. This is deeper than, you know, you having a cold or you, you coming down with something, you have to go to the doctor and get a prescription. Our prescription is the scriptures. Okay. That's the root word for prescription is the same root word as scripture. Okay. It's the script, this script, these 80 books from Genesis to revelation, this is the prescription for the nation of Israel. And it's also known as the word, which is the physician, which is Yahweh Shai Mashiach, 
who's healed us, man. He's healing us right now through this ministry. And again, very soon, Abaratiza, it's this year or early next year, whenever it is, you know, it's going to be right on time. That physician is going to come back and cut off a long disease. He's going to destroy NATO. He's going to destroy the EU. He's going to especially destroy Babylon the Great. And he's going to heal us completely and permanently. All right. It tells you that uh, in the kingdom, not only are we always going to be righteous, but our kingdom is going to be everlasting. That government that's going to be on the, the shoulders of that prudent man is going to last forever and ever and ever for an age and an age and an age. OK, an innumerable amount of days, a kingdom of righteousness being ruled by the physician, not a doctor. OK, not Dr. Kevorkian, Dr. Jekyll, this this demonic pervert that's in control of the earth right now. He's about to be cut off. So Abaratiza, this lesson was edifying to the elect. I want to give all praises honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rahak Wadash, double honest the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the hopeful elect.